And we're back now with our series, Mr. Smith Goes To. And this morning, Harry Smith's taking us to a pristine but problematic spot in Alaska where a high-stakes battle is underway. Harry, good morning. Hey, Harry. Right. Pop quiz? You guys Okay, we're Alaska? ready. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, no. It's really hard, I think, for a lot of Americans to understand just how big Alaska is. Mm -hmm. If you took Texas and Montana and California, stuck it into Alaska, yeah. there'd still be room left wow. over, oh, right? Wow. So let me take you here to this part of Alaska, right in here. Here's Anchorage. Woo-woo! Get the dizzies. Anchorage <laughs> is right up in here. But if you go south and west, right? Yeah. yeah. You go to south and west down here, about 200 uh, miles away. There's this amazing, pristine area. This lake right here, it's the size of Lake Erie. Wow. wow. You've never even heard of it. And what they want to do right there, that's what's got people talking. My God, that's amazing. To many of us, Alaska is otherworldly. It's vast and stunning landscapes. It's wildlife. It's flat-out, jaw-dropping grandeur. Look back here. Just look at all these red fish. Rivers so clear, the salmon run unimpeded by the millions. Those are baby salmon. Next spring, they'll head out to the ocean and they'll come back into the same spot where they were hatched. Here, there are bodies of water the size of Lake Erie, with water clean enough to drink. Mm. And into this wilderness may come a mine, a giant open pit mine, more than a mile wide and thousands of feet deep. How big a play is it? The entire deposit that we've looked at is one of the largest there is in the world. This is going to be the pit. Gold, uh, copper, and molybdenum, says Pebble Group CEO Tom Collier. Right. If granted, their lease will last 20 years. What do you think is in there? What, what is, what does your group think is in that ground? Then what will it be worth to you over that 20-year span? Um, over the 20-year span, uh, billions. I don't have the exact number at my. Uh, at my fingertips. But like lots of billions? Lots of billions. Lots of billions. Yeah, it's a very valuable uh, project. Not 20 miles away from the mine site is the village of Iliamna. This is where my mom grew up in this house. How about that? 19 children. Lisa Reimer's family has lived around here for generations. True natives. It's not like how my dad did it when he was growing up. He'd snowshoe, dog sled, mm. trap with actual traps. Mm skin it, sell the fur, it's not like that anymore. No, modern life requires more. Prices at the local grocery are grotesquely high. $13.49 for a half gallon. Half gallon. And jobs out here, 200 miles from Anchorage, are few. So the Reimer family, including their 72-year-old mother, all pitch in. Their corporation houses and feeds the scientists and researchers who work at the mine site. We're not waiting for government to hand us free things or free money. They said you could make up to $100,000 a year. As native groups go, their pro-mine stance is not popular. You know, people say, well, those folks up in Iliamna, they, they kind of sold out. They're in bed with those mining folks. And that, that we hear that all the time. We made a decision on our own to do business so our village doesn't die. We climb aboard a seaplane to see what mine opponents say is at risk. You're going to see some pretty spectacular stuff today. A widespread and unsullied watershed that provides the spawning grounds for one of the last great salmon runs in the world. <laughs> Seeing all the fish down there? Man, oh man. When you first heard about the mine, what did you think? I said, great. You know, it's going to be... Uh, economic opportunities. You thought it was a good idea? I thought it was a good idea. I knew nothing about mining. You want to keep pressure on, keep a nice bend in the rod. Brian Kraft owns and operates two fishing lodges here. He fears an accident at the mine could destroy the salmon run downriver in Bristol Bay, a billion and a half dollar industry. I kept asking for examples where it was done right and when you look at mining around the world, some of the poorest mining decisions are made where there's water. Water mixed with the residue from mining makes for a highly toxic waste. It needs to be safely and permanently stored. A breach or a failure of what would be billions of gallons of poison is what worries folks. I'm about as emotionally invested in this as you can get. Kraft's opposition runs deep. He recalls a day years ago when a local village elder took him by the arm and squeezed hard. And he grabs me for a second and he goes, Brian, take care of the water. It's who I am. 
It's in my soul. And I just, wow. That was about as heavy a moment as it gets. It's really a false choice when people say you've got to choose between environmental protection and, and natural resource development. You can, in fact, do both. Tom Collier insists he's an environmentalist, too. That's him as a member of the Interior Department under President Clinton. That must have been just a day or two into the administration. Collier says the risk of doing irreparable damage is zero. And he says it would be a mistake for America to forfeit the opportunity to mine its own minerals. The only outcome here is that we're going to export mining to countries that don't have environmental protection, much less good safety laws to protect labor. The village of Ikiagag sits at the head of the Quijak River, which is fed by Iliamna Lake, 2,700 square miles of some of the cleanest water on Earth. I tell people I live in a place where five million salmon will swim in front of my doorstep every year. Wow. For Christina Salmon, ensuring the purity of these waters oh. is personal. We're the first village downstream. The freshness of this river is what we fight for, because this has been the lifeblood of our people for 10,000 years. We took a small boat into the lake. It's clean enough to drink right out of the lake? Yes. I'm going to have some. It's good. Isn't it does it? taste good. Wow. <laughs> People think I'm crazy when I say the water tastes amazing, but it's really good. An elder up the lake told me the U.S. didn't buy Alaska for the scenery. It was for the resources. But Christina Salmon says nothing is worth the risk to this priceless resource. They say they've done the science. They say they can do it safely. They really feel very strongly they can do it safely. What if they're wrong? What if they're wrong? This isn't worth them being wrong. And for those of us who have spent time in the West or lived in the West, we've seen what poor mining practices can do and how it can do. I mean, there's not enough super fun money in the world mm -hmm. to clean up some of those messes. They say, well, we've got the technology now and we know how to do this, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So you can feel the power of this tug of war. Yeah. But just for fun, kids, yeah. we brought some water back. Wow, wow. So is, that what the, oh, is this, this what we're drinking? This is right out of Iliamna Lake. Iliamna right? Lake, okay. Oh. It's good. It's smooth. Imagine mm. there is still a place in the planet where there's a lake the size of Lake Erie, of wow. a great lake that you've never heard of, and the water is still this clean. You wow. must have gotten wow. such a kick just putting your cup in there <laughs> and drinking right out of the lake. Don't do that in the Hudson River. I think you make a good point <laughs> yes. with that. Yeah. Well, you can. You, you just know. should. You know yeah, what? Right. It's a really... Yeah. Interesting, provocative you feel, issue. Yes, you and, can feel the tension. And this yeah. has been going on for a long time. In Alaska yeah. have been, been talking about this for more than a decade. During the Obama EPA administration, they said they almost put a, a stake in the heart of, of, yeah. of, the, of the mine. A couple of big mining corporations have already backed out of it. Right. There's a new regime. It's now going to be up to the Corps of Engineers. They'll decide sometime in the next year or so if they're going to okay. make this say, okay. So it's not done yet. It's so not done yet. All right. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, you so bet. much, Pleasure. Harry.